Did you know that 14% of those diagnosed with hypothyroidism have narcolepsy? But how can two seemingly different conditions that affect different parts of the body actually be connected? In this video, we'll explore an important question, is there a connection between hypothyroidism and narcolepsy? Narcolepsy is a neurological condition that disrupts your brain's ability to regulate sleep-wake cycles. Symptoms include excessive daytime sleepiness, sudden sleep attacks, sleep paralysis, and even hallucinations. Another characteristic symptom of narcolepsy is cataplexy, which is the sudden loss of muscle tone or control. Cataplexy can range from mild weakness, like drooping of the eyelids or slurred speech, to complete muscle paralysis. A person with narcolepsy tends to fall asleep in the middle of an activity, such as driving, talking, or eating. In between sleeping, people with narcolepsy are alert. There are two types of narcolepsy. One type is distinguished by the presence of cataplexy. With the other type, patients have low levels of hypocretin, a hormone that regulates sleep-wake cycles. Now, let's look at hypothyroidism, the medical term for an underactive thyroid gland. When you're hypothyroid, you aren't producing enough thyroid hormone. That's a problem because thyroid hormone is essential for metabolism and bodily functions. Some characteristic symptoms of hypothyroidism are fatigue, weight gain, and mood changes. Let's look at how thyroid hormone stays in balance. Your hypothalamus, located in the brain, releases thyrotropin-releasing hormone, known as TRH. The job of TRH is to tell your pituitary gland to release thyroid-stimulating hormone, or TSH. TSH then signals to your thyroid to release thyroid hormones known as T3 and T4. These two hormones circulate in your bloodstream. And when the levels of T3 and T4 become low, your hypothalamus releases more TRH and the cycle starts again. As you can imagine, any changes in this cycle affect the release of thyroid hormone. Narcolepsy and hypothyroidism share symptoms, such as fatigue and mood disturbances, which prompts the question, are they connected? Are narcolepsy and hypothyroidism connected? The answer is yes, and it comes down to two key factors, your hypothalamus and autoimmunity. Your hypothalamus produces hormones, including hypocretin and TRH. To review, hypocretin regulates your sleep-wake cycle. TRH stimulates the release of TSH, ultimately leading to the release of thyroid hormones. Current research suggests that dysfunction in the hypothalamus can affect thyroid function, namely, disruption in the release of TRH. One study showed that people with narcolepsy had a TRH deficiency. Lack of TRH prevents the release of TSH, and can lead to hypothyroidism. Another study found that people with narcolepsy with low hypocretin levels also had low TSH levels. So, what's going on that's interfering with the hypothalamus? The answer is autoimmunity. With an autoimmune disorder, your immune system mistakenly starts attacking healthy cells. This attack damages cells and prevents them from functioning correctly. Evidence suggests that an autoimmune attack on the hypothalamus is the cause of low hypocretin levels that disrupt the sleep-wake cycle. Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is the leading cause of hypothyroidism in the US, is the result of an autoimmune attack on the thyroid gland. There isn't a great deal of research on the effect of thyroid medication on narcolepsy. However, there are some case studies that report that thyroid hormone replacement improved narcolepsy symptoms when added to narcoleptic medications. This is a promising avenue that could make narcolepsy treatment much more effective. Narcolepsy patients should have a complete thyroid panel to rule out hypothyroidism as a contributing factor in their excessive fatigue and sleepiness. And for people who have both conditions, optimal treatment for hypothyroidism is essential as a foundation for overall symptom improvement. This video has been brought to you by Paloma Health, the nation's leading medical practice dedicated to hypothyroidism care. Learn more at www.palomahealth.com.